Well, hello there and a very happy Friday and happy holidays to all of you. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about optimizing images for your website. And this is one thing that I have noticed on multiple websites um, as I review them. Lots of just slow loading. And so how can you make your web website move faster? Well, optimizing your images is one way to do that. Uh, before we get into that, I do want to mention that I am showing one last time for this year um, my webinar uh, all about how to create more conversions on your website and you know get more clients through your website. Uh, if you go to createmytherapistwebsite.com slash encore, uh, you'll see an encore presentation where you can watch this webinar. Um, it's been really uh, great to see the hear the feedback and just hear um, lots of people just really excited about this webinar and there were a number of people who could make it and so I figured in between Christmas and New Year's if you have some downtime you can check that out so you can uh, register for that webinar it will happen on the 26th but there will be a replay so if you register and you can't make it you'll be able to watch that um, from the comfort of your couch, hopefully sipping on some eggnog or just enjoying some time off in between uh, the holidays. All right, so let's get into this. So how do you optimize photos for your website? So it's really important that your website work really smoothly and load fast. And this is something that Google has made even more important um, as people are on mobile phones. We gotta make sure that your website is loading fast. If it's loading slow, Google is not going to um, recommend your website as much as it would a website that is moving fast. So images are one thing that can really slow down your website, especially if you've got like a large image across the top of let's say your home page. Uh, it might look beautiful, but it might take a little while for it to load. Um, so there's really two things to think about when it comes to optimizing your photos. There's the actual size that your photo would take up on the screen, and then there's the, the file size, which is more like the weight of the photo. So those are two things that you want to make sure that you optimize for. Now, when it comes to those large photos that you put on your home page, maybe across a banner, um, that you want it to stretch the width of the website, I recommend making it about um, 1,800 to 2,000 pixels wide, and that really will help you. Uh, will help that photo look pretty good across different uh, platforms, um, especially larger screens. Um, I typically people don't have gigantic screens unless they're like me, like a web designer. I've got got a big iMac here so uh, my browser can stretch really far but you know average users um, probably around that 1200 pixel range but this way 1800 that'll cover you for those different um, size screens and definitely recommend that you crop your photos and work with them on your website uh, which it will take a little bit of time to um, make sure that you've got it at the right size because if you've got let's say a bar across your home page you know it's not too tall but you've got an image that fills up the background of that bar there might be a whole bunch of image that's like masked out you don't even see but it's still there in the background and your website still needs to load that so you can use uh, something like uh, canva.com They've got a photo editor. If you just Google Canva and photo editor, it'll let you resize your photos and crop them uh, so you can make sure they're only about 1,800 pixels wide and you crop it uh, to the important part of the image that will work with your design that you upload. And for other photos, like you really want to think about how's your, how are your images being used on your website. If you've got a small box, let's say for like your services on your homepage and it's just like a blurb on your homepage, and you know you click on that and it goes over to your services page if you've got um, that it's much smaller it's not like that huge hero image you know that's going to be going across your whole website so you want to make sure that you resize those photos um, to be much smaller let's say about 400 500 pixels you know, depending on how much space that it takes up so try your best not to just upload a 2,000 or 4,000 uh, pixel wide image for something that really only needs to take up about 500 pixels on the page. So that's going to really help um, get your file size down. So once you have you, the size of your image down, then there's some things that you can do to actually compress those images to make them even uh, lighter, to make that file size even lighter. And there's a website that I like to use. It's called tinypng.com. 
and you can just drag and drop your image over there and it'll run through a compression tool and then you can download it and it'll um, sometimes cut it down about 60% in file size like 60 to 80 percent but still look pretty good which is which is important you want to kind of have that balance of um, compressing it to make it smaller but also you know still look really good on your website so that's really it step one is to resize them for the size that you need for your um, for your website and for how you're going to be using that image and then step two is to run it through a compressor and to make it even smaller and if you do those things before you upload your images to your website that's going to really help cut down uh, on the file size and I'll also mention for people who are on WordPress tiny PNG does have a plugin so that any photo you upload to your website it's automatically going to compress it, um, which cuts out an extra step, which is great. Um, and it'll just take care of those photos that are on your website. They'll even let you run a compressor on photos you've already uploaded you know, before you start using that plugin. So that is how you can optimize your photos for your website. Make sure it's running really smoothly and you know loading quickly. Uh, all that's going to just uh, help your visitors be happy, but also uh, help with your search engine optimization as well. So I hope that this was helpful and just happy holidays again uh, to anybody watching this during the holidays. And also join us on uh, December 26th for the encore presentation of our webinar at createmytherapistwebsite.com slash encore where you can check that out and i just want to thank everybody for uh, being here thank you so much for being in this group i really appreciate all of you if you have any questions on optimizing your uh, images and your website feel free to ask away thanks again